Welcome to Speed Bump Garage. My name is Kent and today we are going to do an unboxing video. I recently purchased a Mayflower tire machine balancer combo. It's available on Amazon, eBay, and like lots of you, probably the reason you clicked on this video, I'm a little bit skeptical. I did see a lot of great reviews on these machines. I actually called the vendor and talked to a real person. It gave me enough confidence to go ahead and pull the trigger on the machine but i'm curious to see what i ended up with what assembly is going to be like and really just did i waste my money so let's get into it let's get to unboxing and see what we got well here's what showed up i paid for the standard shipping so it had to go to a company with a loading dock or a forklift and there was an option for, I think, like an extra $100. You could get it shipped to your residence, and they would offer a liftgate service. And like I said, I did have it shipped to a loading dock. I picked it up, and I believe this box here is our tire machine balancer. And this is an option that I got for an assist arm that, from all the reviews I've read on these machines, is really helpful if you're doing low-profile tires. I don't think I'll do a lot of them, but I will do some, so I wanted to have it. This is just really thin plywood on pallets, and I went with the 980 machine. This is their larger machine. I think it's four or $500 more. Right now it's December of 2022. So that was about four or $500 more, and I think this assist arm upgrade was around $300. The reason I went with the bigger machine, I was reading a lot of the reviews on the smaller machine and I really wanted to get that machine, but I was reading that a lot of people were having trouble clamping onto 20 inch wheels, which this day and age, 20s are pretty standard on a lot of stuff. And I didn't want to have any issues. And this machine is supposed to clamp on the outside of, I believe 22 or 24 inch wheels. I'll, I'll have to check that to be sure. I'll put on the screen the actual specs here. So I went with the bigger machine. I, like I said, I spent probably $800 extra getting the bigger machine and the assist arm, but I'm hoping this is the only tire machine I ever need. Being able to call the company and talking to the actual vendor, he gave me really good confidence in his machine. Tons of good reviews on these things. I think it's going to be a perfect machine for a hobbyist, but let's get to opening these boxes up, seeing what assembly is gonna take we got AJ here to help. Woody's here for emotional support. Let's get these boxes open. All right, we got everything unboxed. Here's how it came. Both of them are bolted to pallets and it is completely covered in this oil, I'm assuming for the shipments. Everything looks to be in really good shape. It doesn't look like anything was damaged during shipping. No bumps or bruises. Here is the tire assist arm and it's a little bit confusing. None of the instructions are great. 
on any of this stuff. They're all pretty brief, but the balancer looks to be pretty straightforward and it is all assembled already. It came with this accessory kit, a few different cones, wheel weight flyer, wing nut, thing for measuring your wheel width, a manual, I haven't looked at it yet, and I assume maybe some assembly quick start guide. I thought it was funny. It came with one wheel weight. So hopefully that's all we need. This also came with some accessories. Not positive what that big spring's for yet. Little lube bucket, I'm guessing. Pressure gauge. Extra covers for the little duck here to protect your wheels, a pry bar, and also came with a user's manual. Let's just glance at this and see if it's as brief as the assembly instructions on the assist arm. Yeah, it's pretty thin, maybe six or seven pages. We've got a couple quick connect air fittings here. So this is the main arm that bolts here. I'm guessing there's going to be a few air lines down in there that will hook up to that. And it bolts to these six bolts. Air fitting here. Well, it's got a little oiler on it. All that looks to be in good shape. Power wire, foot pedals here. So that's what you can expect when it gets here. I'm going to kind of try to figure out how this goes together, maybe get it put together, and then I'll bring you guys back in. I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch me try to figure all this out. Like I said, the instructions are pretty brief. So I'm going to visit some other YouTube videos. I know there's several people that have these, maybe try to see how they put them together, and then I will uh, update you guys on what it took to make it happen, and we'll go from there. Well, it's the next day and we finally got it together. And I will say on this tire machine, especially if you get the assist arm, get some help. It was really difficult to try to do with one person. So I decided to call it quits last night, got some help today and we made pretty quick work of it. Let me show you what we ended up with. So I did have to take the side panel off and even if you don't get the assist arm, I recommend kind of taking that off just so you can see how everything works in here. This pedal is actually the inflator panel and the bead blaster panel. So it operates this unit to air your tires up. And I need to get a good shot of how this bolts on for you guys because the instructions were not good. So that bottom plate has three bolts right there that bolt to that mount. And then the second section is here that bolts on and that's your upright with your lift cylinder. And then these two swing arms bolt onto a pin right here. And then there's a bracket you have to bolt on that best I can tell kicks back. You could have put it on facing this way too, but I think it kicked back. Then it holds these little cubby holes and I put the extra covers and things in there. I don't, I assume you'll put your valve stem tools and things like that in there. So that was a little bit confusing. Not positive what you would use the wheel portion for. This is the assist arm that I wanted. From what I've seen, you operate that right here. AJ's still here. So you would put that down and it lowers that whole thing. Say you're here. You put it down in line with your duck. I've seen everybody calling that a duck here. I don't know if that's correct. But you put that there and then run your turn cable. And this would just follow around and keep pressure on that tire. Now, I have almost no experience mounting tires. I've mounted just a handful. But from my understanding, that's needed on low profile tires. I don't think it's a must, but they said it makes it much easier. And that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to save time. That's the whole reason I bought this machine is to save time and be more efficient here in the shop. 
no more trips to the tire shop, no more waiting at the tire shop. We can do everything in-house here and be more productive and more time on tools here in the shop. Bead breakers here, pretty self-explanatory. It is your outside pedal. Hang it back. The turntable is electric. The claws are obviously pneumatic. It did come with these covers for your wheel protection and this has these covers on it too to protect your wheels and you saw the extra set of those over there what else this bolted right on there was two quick connect or push lock air fittings there i had to tee the air for this into this supply line and i'll show you where i did that so I just teed it in right there. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a T fitting in that main supply line. And that comes out and supplies air to that lift cylinder. Pretty simple, but I went ahead and left that cover off so you guys could see in there. All Everything is like your DOT plastic airline, push lock fittings, belt driven here for the turntable. That's your electric motor. Got our little air tank there for your bead blaster. And that's pretty much it. I haven't used it yet. I kind of want to give you guys the first look of what it came with. Everything appears to be pretty good quality. Uh, it also came with this tire tool and a lube bucket. Now I have not calibrated or hooked this unit up yet. It came with the wheel width measuring tool several different cones your measurement here for i guess your distance measurement would be there but that's pretty straightforward this was the main thing i wanted to get you guys a look at because there wasn't a lot of them on youtube that had this assist arm if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments down below i'll try to tell you everything i can I don't want to make a how-to video on how to operate any of it yet until I'm comfortable. I want to get several sets of tires under me before I try to show you guys how to use it because I don't want to spread inaccurate information on how to run it. So I will be back with a how-to video and we'll show this thing in action. I'm super excited about it. Make sure you're subscribed if this is something you're interested in and we will run a how-to video after we get some time on it. What do you think, AJ? You going to learn how to use it? I'm going to help my dad use it. He's going to help me use it. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will be back with more tire videos soon. See you on the next one.